everyone, I'm Trustin44, and welcome to this Let's Play of Greedfall. Last episode, we uh, got a side quest where Kurt wanted us to go speak with a recruit he happened to bring in that he wanted to uh, act as a personal guard to Constantine, our cousin, who threw a bottle in our face. No, I won't let that die. Unfortunately, he was dead. And after some investigation, we found out that he had been beaten to death. And people have been trying to cover this up. Well, we've uh, continued our investigation and gotten a lead that it appears that he was in the 11th Company, and the 11th Company Lieutenant is the one who's going to know about this. And he didn't want to speak with us before. Or he lied and said he didn't know anything. So let's go confront him again. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Insist concerning Rainer. Are you sure that you can't help us? Something terrible has befallen the poor boy. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rainer belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say? Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you have a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes. Of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. Anything else? That's all. Thank, Thank you, you, Lieutenant. Farewell. That man was shaking and looking over his shoulder. As if he thought a predator had caught his scent. Whatever could terrify your warriors to jitter so. I don't know yet. But I will find out, Siora. Also, Siora, your voice sounds familiar. Where have I heard it before? Okay, well... Let's sit outside and take a and take a trip down so we can rest. I don't know what time it is. Or how we find out what time it is. You know, I know that the, uh, the embassies were closed before, but I wonder if they're only closed during the night or something. Well, anyway. Dusk. Five minutes until dusk. Okay, this should be fine. If not, we'll come back and rest at night. Let's see if we waited the appropriate amount of time. Well, no one else is here. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Rainer. Are you sure that you can't help us? Something terrible has befallen the poor boy. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that... And as the acting left... So just stop... You know what they say. And concern... I... If you have so much as an ounce of respect, don't you believe he deserves... Yes. Rainer was indeed a member of my company. And an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rainer wasn't the only man to have... disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits 
all the cream of the crop had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixths might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixths if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Anything else? Did that say I failed at waiting about at waiting until nightfall? I waited until dusk! <sighs> Ask about the ghost. Are you regiment. certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixths if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Alright. The officer of the Sixth, I believe he's upstairs. This way. Uh, he was over here. Wait, no, that's outside. That's not where I wanted to go. There's the door. There you are. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? Ask about the Ghost Regiment. Good God, you're blinding! Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Try to convince... Try to convince... Allow Kurt to speak. Are you certain you don't know where this Phantom Regiment camp can be found? Absolutely certain. And to be honest, I hope I never hear about this matter again. Rayner was one of my recruits, Lieutenant. A young man that I admired. He was killed. His death was disguised. We've been lied to time and time again. Thanks to my friend, we finally learned that the boy had rejoined the Phantom Regiment. And so now, you're gonna tell me all you know without being a weasel about it. Trust me, you don't want me to lose my nerve. But, Captain, I... Now! I've seen the regiment. Oof. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems, and our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. I hope you realize the risk I'm taking, talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Oh my. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rayner isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rayner. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me. Well, we got a reputation with Kurt. 
Wait for Kurt to obtain information about the Ghost Regiment. Progress in the main quest. Well, that's something we'll have to come back to, because uh, that's all we have here. Oh, we have Codex. Anything in the Codex? Uh... The Shore of Tall Bones. Glendignamvar is a coastal region bordered by high granite cliffs located southeast of Tierfordi. Whales sometimes approach, and their bones gave it its native name, the Shore of the ta Tall Bones. Ooh, that sounds... rough. Okay, at least Kurt's happy with us. And the coin guard like us as well. Anyway. That's dealt with. Now, let's see if we can start with Vasco's quest. Let's see, way down is over there. Over here. No, it's right here. Nope, that's not it. Damn it. Ugh. Sometimes hard to remember the ways out. Oh no, this way. We'll speak with Vasco and start his quest. Desarde, I've always hoped to one day find out. But I cannot. Could you go there and bring. Yeah, take care of it now. Of course. But you will have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any knots to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the Noughts are still my family. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. Indeed. Uh, I guess we'll go with Siora. Okay. And just to make sure that we don't have any problems, we'll wear the sailor's coat. The Harbor Master's office. Is down there. It's starting to get dark. Come closer, good people. Are your boots? Head out in this direction. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search. Hmm. It's a proven technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get some sleeping pills. Then we'll go see Dita. Seems a simple enough task. Sleeping pills. I imagine we can probably buy them at the merchant. Unfortunately, because I don't have any science, I don't think I can craft them. You'll find Welcome. It's... Have you seen it? Let's see. Sleeping potion. Yep, four of them. Costs some money, but it's fine. I don't think I have anything to sell. No. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. The owner of the brothel. Okay, up to the brothel. Uh, 
This part of the establishment is sorry. <sighs> Very well. Goodbye. Don't worry. I know a way around so that we don't need to pay the fee. No, I didn't want to go out. I still find it interesting that you can avoid paying the 25 gold just by taking the roundabout route through the barracks. I also find it interesting that the barracks is connected not just to the, uh... Not just to the tavern, but also to the brothel. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? Talk about the drink shipments to the knots. It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dieter, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? That would we be entertaining. More of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank. But I can't risk losing my best customers. We'll try to convince him with the charisma. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. <laughs> Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. After such a blow, I may well win a deal in San Mateus, but I'm pretty sure I'll lose the one I already have. You will have to find another way to perform your little joke. Sorry. <sighs> if we load... Okay. I have enough time to load here, I believe, so do so! Right, let's try this again. Yes, why? It seems like... So, no, listen. What? We were... Listen. Let's try to convince him Captain again. Captain Vasco, maybe he could... If you accept... After such a blow, Damn you it. have to... Okay, one more attempt. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's crude, cheaty, whatever the hell you want to call it, but hey, if it's going to be effective... I mean, for all I know, it could be a guaranteed fail, but it says 50%. Yes, what? It's no, no this, what? We would... Captain One more Vasco try. is very influential. Maybe if you accept, I could arrange. After such a blow, I may. Oh come well. on! We will have to find another way to. It looks like my plan has fallen apart. I'll have to be discreet. You should dress like a knot, and maybe take a haze potion. Yes, good idea. Fine, fine, I guess we'll do it this way. Fortunately, we're already dressed like a knot, so everything's fine there. Do I have any haze potions? Probably back at our little house. So, oh wait, I think I can actually get out this way. Yeah, I think the guy doesn't care if I come up. He doesn't care if I come out of there, only if I try to go in. Alright, fortunately I know where to get a haze potion, if need be. I should have a couple in here. What does haze potion do again? I think it, en I think it enhances stealth. Yep, increases your stealthiness for a long duration. We'll take those. And I'm going to put these other things in here. Alright. Now, let's head down there. I'll save before we go in. Good 
Let me save here before we do it. All right, let's give this a try. It's pitch black. It's the perfect moment. What do you want to do? Wait until nightfall. I'm ready. We just have to wait for nightfall. Well, it is nightfall. All right, it's dark enough. It's time to move. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disardi. Of course. Don't worry. I'm wearing clothes. As far as anyone's concerned, I am supposed to be here. I am not going to destroy that. Oh, good. Lockpicking. Very effective. Now, let's see what we can find. Impossible to enter. Yes, I am aware. be over here. Aha! Vasco's complete personal file stolen from the Harbor Master's office in New Serene. Okay. That was very easy. Hmm. And you thought this was going to be hard. Now it's suddenly daytime. And there's something I can loot here. Some things I can loot here. Key to the harbor office. And some boards. Okay, really? I didn't need the key. Either way, mission accomplished. Alright, let's go speak with him now. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Well, they did, Wonderful. but they didn't recognize you me. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit, I had no idea they'd given a son to the Nords. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco, but growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Norts care to admit. All right. Oh, well, that went fairly well. Hey, we leveled up. I'm happy for that. Now, uh, I'm going to need to level up again before I can put a point in here, as I want that magic healing. I can't even remember how to kick. Two-handed heavy weapons I might work on, too, but getting everything better on healing would be wonderful. Oh, yeah. Everything towards healing would be the best possible thing I can think of. Hmm. Alright, we'll be saving up for that then. 
Do you have anything else to say, I wonder? Desarde, can I do anything for you? Whether he wished he was never given to the Nords. Hmm. Do you wish you were never given to the Nords? How could I not be regretful? I never got to experience a mother's love or a lavish youth. Do you have any happy memories? Don't you have any happy memories? I do. Of course I do. For example, I remember the first time I climbed up the shrouds. The incredible view, the dizziness, the sensation of complete freedom. It was an unforgettable moment. I can only imagine how you felt, but it sounds amazing. It was. I wouldn't trade that memory for all the gold in the world. Thank you, Desarde. You've given me a lot to think about. Did you want anything else? Hey, more reputation. Had you ever heard about your family? Have you ever heard about the Darcys before? No, I had not. As you know, there are many noble families in Serene. And I am there one. There was a time when a lot of them had to give a child. Uh, let's see. I'm sure they'd be proud to see the man you'd become. I'm certain that they would be very proud to see that their son is now a famous captain. I doubt it. Once we're taken away from our homes, we become anonymous. The nobility see the noughts as nothing more than a necessary evil. We are no longer their children. Did you want anything else? That's all. Thank you. All right, let's head back to our, uh... Well, first things first. Put that back on, and let's head back to our house. You'll find all you need in our I think I can get around this way. With less jumping in the lake. Come closer, this episode has gone on about long enough, I think. Alright, and we are here. I guess we didn't actually need the, uh, the haze potions, so I'll go ahead and leave them back there. Better. Uh, Kurt, do you have anything to say out of curiosity? Oh, wait. But yes, Kurt, do you have anything to say? Green blood, my friend. Do you need something? Ask him about... His role as Master of Arms. Sure, why not? What is your duty as Master of Arms? Besides teaching us how to fight. What was my duty, you mean? It's all in the past now. In truth, you may have guessed it, but my main role was to make sure that nothing would happen to you and Constantine. Without, of course, turning you into some courtiers that are afraid of steel. You have to be considered trustworthy to take on this role. But alas, it isolates you from the rest of the guards. Always at the court, but never really belonging to it. I spent almost my entire time with you without seeing my comrades. Anything else? All right, uh, what about your family? Tell me about your family. Were your parents in the guard as well? Yes, and to be truthful, I never knew them. I was entrusted to a wet nurse, a prostitute who followed the troops. I remember her. She was sweet, and a good person. She may be the only one who showed me any kind of affection. But that didn't last. As soon as I could hold a wooden sword, I was given a real one and sent to training. Anything else? All right, then. That's all. Thank you. Do you have anything to say, Siora? Honor Manawi, do you need something? I don't believe I'm anything sleeping. new. See you later. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Really? We can sleep there? Because this episode has gone on long enough. Next episode, it's time to finally continue on with the main quest that we have. Because we've been waiting for a while. Hmm. But that'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I am Chesek44. That is Desarde. Uh, respite. Desarde, Kurt, and Siora. This has been a let's play of Greedfall, and I shall see you all next time.